You ready? All right, so here's the former UFC champion, Piotr Jan, with his boxing game and his unbreakable will in tow. He comes up on this challenge with Sugar Sean O'Malley, who is trying to take his spot near the top of the division. Watching Piotr Jan make his way to a championship was truly special to watch. It was good to see a guy that just had his eyes on the target and was not going to be denied. But then when you look at Sean O'Malley, it seems as though we're watching a repeat of that. Another young athlete that made his mark on the culture of fighting but now he gets an opportunity to make a mark on the rankings board and in terms of title aspirations in the UFC. This is a big spot for Sean O'Malley. Nice. Oh, that one even hurts to watch. Heavy leg kick lands flush. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the field. Oh, the kick landed. Midway through round one. John gets another takedown. Largely, he's a striker, but the wrestling is there tonight. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Looks for damage from the top to come now. All right, side control now. Back mount now. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. This is a terrible position. Reversal on the ground. Great job. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt. And the. Ready. All right, here we go. Capacity crowd on hand to witness a trilogy to be completed between Valentina Shevchenko and Amanda Nunes. Split decision in the last meeting that was UFC 215 all the way back in 2017. They just don't get more technical or well-versed than Valentina Shevchenko, and she thinks tonight will be the night that she claims the jump. She's been so close so many times. Every time it's been Valentina versus Amanda, Valentina has been very, very close to getting her hand raised. But there are small little adjustments that she needs to make if she wants to. I'm not sure who opponent knows where she is. She's in the office. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Man, she's hurt her opponent several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but... How about just getting aggressive and finishing this fight? You know, she doesn't take many chances inside the octagon. Right now is a time where she should take chances. She should be going forward, putting a lot of...
in the mind. I live my life moving courageous. I live my life moving courageous because you know that I'm coming to save us as we go. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Got a lot of seminal moments in this building. I think they won. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. Well, John, also UFC 200. I've got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silk. Double leg takedown. Well, St. Pierre's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. You gotta be careful here. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by George St. Pierre. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. That's in pretty deep. Strickland getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strokes. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Good work from the top here. Oh, good defense, yes. His ground and pound is on full display here tonight. That was a slick transition. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, nice combination of elbows there by Strickland. Huh. Five minutes in the books. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. Big shot to the head. 
there by St. Pierre. Throwing that low kick. Big double leg, loving team. Great ground and pound by this man. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound. Mark Coleman as he lands again. Holy some oh. See, now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, that has got to be it. And that! What a moment for this fight. strawweight on the roster, and past opponents have certainly felt that pressure and power. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Full side control now. And now she's in mount. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. Absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. All right, early round action here in Zhang Wei Li, not wasting any time finding a home for that right hand. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title winning performance, where she overwhelmed her with that shot that put her out. Zhang Wei Li is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Under three minutes to go in round one. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. I need you to scramble, scramble. In the half guard, big ground and pound. Oh, another strike lands from the top. She is so dominant from the top position. The ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jean. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. 
Chong's back in full now. Oh. She postures up here. Oh, delivers a big back down. Shot to the head. Huge elbow there. Rodriguez is in half guard. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Thirty seconds to go. Sean's able to flatten her out. I'm not sure she's going to be able to survive this position. Nice positional control here. Let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. At times, it looked as though she was literally trying to punch her face through the floor. Yeah, she was trying to punch her face through the floor. That's what she does, though. I mean, that is her calling card. That is what she's known for. The moment she gets down, it is just vicious grounded pump from the top position. She is a master of posturing. She is a master of control. And the moment she gets an opportunity, she really does brutalize you. All right, round two. Gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Single. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. This is a terrible position. Rodriguez is in half goal. Man, Mark Coleman would be proud. Her ground and pound game is on point. I don't know. It looks like she might have it locked in. She's always a step ahead, so she's advancing right now. She got out of that position. Way to stay confident and comfortable under attack. And now she ends up in a dominant position. Wow. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, nice job. Trying for a submission here. Arms are deep. Oh, come on. That's got to be it. It's got to be it. It's over. It's so it's good. Oh, she's out. Wow. Way to stay calm in a tough situation and defend that arm. Submission attempts in bunches. Another one here. Oh, she's got the arm. She's got it isolated, John. Oh, that's gotta be it. That's it. You're wrong by submission. Holy smokes. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. She scrambled well in this fight, and she had to exercise some patience there a little bit, but once she found an opening.